Hello YouTube, my name is Witsy. Yellow Whale has suggested the Tokyo Ghoul Run. I watched the first season of the anime, although I don't really remember much about it. Um, so, we got, we're duct taping Mutation and Abyssal Tentacle, Potion of Lead Skin, Heart Synthesizer, Antibody, Monster Blood, Utility Belt, Aged Bell, play as any character you want. We're playing as the pilot, because I feel he'd be the closest that would look like someone who'd become a ghoul, right? Also gave myself four. Uh, ancient Heroes bandanas because this pisses through ammo quickly. So, let's go take a look. And then, boom! Oh god, okay, yep, nope, that definitely... That does right what it says on the fucking package. Okay, that's weird. I mean, I like it, but it's weird. So the tentacle itself doesn't do much. But mutation does quite a bit of damage. It's like, the tentacle kind of like grabs them, and then mutation like shoots through and just blasts their fucking health down, which is great. It'd be cool if there was an item. Actually, I think... Oh, cool. Okay, well, I'm just gonna start breaking chests from now on. I don't even care. I got junkin. Um, this, actually, this, this may be wrong. I think I've said this in another video. And if I have, I'm sorry for repeating myself, but it'd be cool if there was an item that made it so that, uh... Oh shit, now I don't even remember what I was gonna say. What, what was I gonna say? Oh god, I, w I, I don't know, like, my thoughts derailed with Junkin. It was something about something or other. Yeah, it was something about recharge time for fucking, I don't know. It's obviously not that important. <laughs> If it was that important, I would have remembered it, so... Anyway, I don't know. I, it'll come back to me, like, when I'm least expecting it. When I'm doing the outro, I'll be like, Oh, by the fucking way! Yeah, but... This is pretty dope. This is weird as hell. It's fucking weird. Look at this. Blah! <laughs> Blah! <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. Um... Okay, so I'm, I'm sure y'all are wondering, because I did... Ah, shit. I got hit. I did disappear for a week. I went to go look for a house back down in Florida. Um, so, if you, by chance, are thinking of renting your house out, and if you put on the application or the website or whatever you do, dogs okay, please make sure that you are actually saying dogs are okay. There it is. I got it. Because we went to probably 20 different houses, and they're like, oh yeah, dogs are fine. And then we're like, okay, so we have two dogs. And they're like, oh, by the way, no, we, we don't actually accept dogs. So we're sitting here like, motherfucker, are you, are you kidding me? Okay, so I need, uh, I need two keys, which there's another key up there, but I want to, I want to at least grab that next piece of junk in first. And y'all, they also said grab the shield before the boss fight. So I shall do that. Um, but yeah, so we were turned down by a bunch of different places that said dogs were fine because we had dogs. So yeah, we found an apartment complex, so if nothing else, we'll have that. And then we have another house that I'm calling tomorrow, which in relation to you guys, you'd actually be seeing this probably today or the next day. Either way, uh, we are going to have some fun. Uh, I really, really hope we get a call back, and if not, we're just gonna go back down, uh, nice, I got, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep upgrading Junkin. Um, if not, we're just gonna go on down the next day, or, you know, in May, and just look for a house again. I, I don't know, man, because we do want to go back to Florida, we really do want to go back to Florida. Our friends are there, family's there, all that stuff, you know. Um, it's too bad, because we actually found a place... that, um, oh, that's what I was gonna say. See? It was gonna say something. Um, I wish there was an item that just straight removed the damage cap, period. That would be awesome. Junkin? You wanna, like, you wanna, like, junk, junk on off out of here? Oh, shoot. I thought that wouldn't have hit me. Whatever. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna keep on looking and, you know, hope for the best. I don't want that. That's all we can do. I mean, people people denied us because we had dogs. 
Like, I understand. I definitely understand. If it was me, just me, I wouldn't have any animals. Like, I don't want pets, so, I mean, it's it's whatever. You know, uh, I gotta make sure. It's been a week. I okay. gotta make sure the sound settings are right. Wouldn't be a woodsy video without it. Um, yeah, if it was... If it was just me, no, I'd be fine. I wouldn't... I wouldn't care. I'd be able to get into any of them because I don't have pets and I don't want animals. But Liz has her dogs, and, you know, I'm not gonna be one of those guys that's like, you gotta get rid of your fucking pets. No, I'm not an asshole. It, at the end of the day, I really don't care. It's just, it would be nice if she didn't have animals because then we already would have had a house. And I'd be packing up and leaving for a place with much nicer internet, and I'd be able to be streaming and recording every day. But, once again, like, I... I don't know, it really doesn't bother me that much. Not like my first time in the Weeblet since the last time I did a Gungeon series. And of course, you know, I was thinking, hey, maybe maybe it wouldn't work, but whatever. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to look again. The thing was we were looking exclusively at houses, because, you know, uh, manufactured homes and townhouses and things like uh, you know were too good for them but at this point i don't give a shit like it's it's too bad because i found some uh i found some manufactured homes essentially trailers whatever um that were say that were uh you know pet friendly all this that blah 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 so i don't know if nothing else we're just to look at those too when we get back also if we do go back in may that's pretty much middle of the year and, I mean, middle of the year, if we do that, then... Uh, what's here? I got a gauge, whatever. What's this? Oh, big crest. Okay, I can't take damage at this point. Which I'm probably going to, but whatever. Awesome! Wasn't even junk. Okay. I'm, have, I'm gonna have to actually pay attention at this point. But we're just gonna have to keep looking if not, and I mean... If we find something great, if we don't find something... I, I don't know what to tell you. But it may, we are finding a fucking place, I don't care. If, if we don't get the call back by this apartment, although they said it's almost guaranteed you will. Because, hey, you guys aren't ghetto. <laughs> so... I heard that and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're actually fine. Cause you know, I dressed up all nice. I trimmed the beard up a little bit. Junk. Thank you. You know, I made myself look all pretty and appropriate and all that. So, I know team, team no dodge, but we have to dodge because we have this thing. <gasps> ah, I ran right into it. Oh well. Now there's no pressure. Damn it, I ran right into it. Why do I do that? I bet there's like an actual name or something for that in a game or an event where you actively try to detriment yourself. Although you aren't like in your mind, you aren't doing it, but subconsciously you're like, yeah, jump into that fucking bullet. Easy reload bullets. Oh, rolling reload. Okay, cool. I mean, this doesn't have a reload, so that was actually just a waste of money, but whatever. Why is everything faster? Oh, they're just faster. Okay. Nerds. Ah, well. We'll just go to the Weeblet on the next one. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, God. Sir. If if I could have a superpower, this would be, this would be pretty much close to what I want as a superpower. Like, just having the ability to have this tentacle that flies out of my body and kind of, like, just grabs everyone. Wait, can I re-grab it? Fuck. Oh, I was thinking, like, ah, maybe I could. I could just give myself the crest. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that on the next floor, I don't even care. Like, I'm trying to get this stuff, and y'all are like, look, why don't, why don't you just fucking get this stuff? So, we'll do that. Just so we can do that. Okay, who's this? I don't think I've ever done this. Is this the old king? No. He has a bloob bloob bloob. <laughs> Blobby Lord. Go. 
gotta pay attention. We got this. Oh god! That was a waste of everything. Where you is? There you are. Damn it. Fuck. But hey, we survived, so. That was interesting. Super Space Turtle is unlocked. Heck yeah. bad about that. I feel pretty bad about that. Alright. Oh man, well. Now that I knew what I was up against. Alright, let's do it. Man, you know what? You know what would have not been fun at all? Probably like watching like a seven character speed run of Isaac or Gungeon or something in one of the AGDQs. They did do Isaac like three or four years ago, but I don't know, like I don't think I would have been able to watch that. I also kind of have a bias because I played it so much, but maybe, I don't know, maybe some, maybe some people are cool with that. I wouldn't be the... See, why should we even bother dodging if we can just walk through our enemies, right? Like, why even bother? Yeah, there's the what's the jigger. I don't really care about that. Nerd. Okay. Hey, you want some of this punk? <laughs> I got a tentacle that'll come at you from nowhere's from no one. No, no one's no no. I I fucked it up already. Great. I'm threatening. Yeah. Look at this beard. I'm threatening. Motherfucker. Anyway. <clears throat> So yeah, Tokyo Ghoul, uh, I, I don't know, it was, it was something I was never super interested in, like, it, it seemed interesting, and you know, he's like a zombie type thing, and he eats people and blah blah blah, and he turns into a monster and all that. It's, it's kinda cool, I guess. I was, I was just never really that big of a fan of it. Like, I have, I was, uh, thinking about reading the manga. But it's one of those things. Motherfucker, of course. But it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, but. You know, I could spend my time doing other things. Like, okay. So. I was really bored during that point in time. Or during the week. And I was reading. Uh, just a bunch of different random manga. I, I got to like 50 something of Naruto, and I'm like, God, why am I doing this to myself? Like. It's another, it's another fucking shonen, man. You know what happens? He gets strong, and then he finds someone stronger, and then he beats him. Then he gets strong, then he finds someone stronger. Fuck. You know how I know this? Because I started watching Shippuden, and I know on the first episode, he's alive in Shippuden. So hey, guess what? He apparently got strong enough to beat, insert X person. Junk and shining armor. What are we sitting at now? Where you is, Junkin? There you are. Ooh, you got a little helmet. Aren't you adorable? Did we get both chests at this point? Yes, we did. Okay. Do I care about the rest of the floor? Oh, yeah, I gotta find what's it called. I gotta find that, uh... That thing. No one's messaging me? Okay, no one I care about, at least. I have key! I need... I need key, though. Aha, here it is. Okay, so the old crest, I think it is. Okay, we're finally going to go down and see what this what this level is all about. Oh, I should have fought the boss shit. Tip. Blood brooch unlocked. Hmm. Cool. I don't know what that is. I should really just add the items every time they're unlocked, right? So I can figure out what they are for the gecko. Ooh. He's a, uh, what's it call it? He's a jammed. That means he's important. Hmm. 
reverence for the dead is that what that said? I like that the tentacle just like auto targets everyone. It's really neat. Ah! Okay, there we go. But yeah, that would this would be a pretty dope ass power if I could if I could just like summon tentacles. I could be some weird Lovecraftian avatar or something like that. Can you fucking die? Oh, well, that was cool. It would be pretty neat. I mean, you know, I'd essentially be a hentai monster, but hey, it'd still be pretty awesome. Who doesn't want to be a hentai monster? Think about it. If you And if you're saying you don't, you're just lying to yourself, because you know you do. Everyone should experience hentai monsters once in their life. Uh, that's the healing bun, which I don't really care about, so let's actually just use it. I haven't even used the egg bell very much. I don't know, I haven't really... I haven't exactly gotten to a point where I need to use it. Like, I'm sure it would have been nice dodging and actually and actually getting the old crest, but hey, whatever. Gun muncher? I don't even have anything to munch guns. Pretty much just have to let the uh the old the old tentakizzle auto target stuff. I wonder what this what does this monster thing even do? I know it sprays like red juices everywhere. <laughs> I mean that much is very obvious, but I don't really know what it does per se. Boop. Boop. Fuck. Really? Did I seriously just lose both pieces of armor instantly? Awesome. It ain't a party like a it ain't a witsy party until... I forgot what that fucking thing was. It ain't a party like a witsy party, and a witsy party don't stop until I fuck the run up. Something like that, I don't know. Third. And I. Yeah. I was reading Kanesuba, though. is actually pretty funny. Whenever you get wings is your love last level, if I remember right. But yeah, kind of soup was hilarious, actually. I was reading another one. Uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? That one was pretty good. And then there was another one, something about the shield, the shield hero or something like that. It was a pretty depressing manga, but it was actually kind of funny. I just hate how the main character is always just whining about everything. Oh, everyone hates me. Oh, they set me up to be a rapist. Oh, ma'am and ma'am and nah. Like, broke it over yourself. Ugh. Ow. Okay. I don't know, like, I can't do... I can't do whiny main characters, you know? Which I know some people are... Some people like the whole get strong story. You know, the whole thing about, like, oh, well, at first he's whiny, but he eventually becomes really powerful and this and that. I think that's also, I, I also can't really watch Naruto, not really for the fact that he's whiny, but that he's like an annoying 12 year old kid. I mean, yeah, I know some people love him, but I can't do it, man. I just can't. Like, I even tried watching the anime and I was just like, this is, this is utter garbage. I don't know why anyone would want to watch, would want to like watch this, which, you know, will piss people off, but oh well. I mean... It's a shonen, dude. He gets strong, then he doesn't. Then he gets strong, then he gets stronger. Uh, you don't have wings yet. When you have wings, that's when you're final. So I think he's at six or seven. I think there's seven stages in total. If I remember correctly. I'm really just buying things to buy things at this point. Whatever. I'll start opening chests whenever we actually get this up. Ooh, the old Bullet King. Well, look at you. You're like the first boss, except you're much stronger. Papa's gonna show you how to do the do -si do Oh, okay. So, it's... He's, he's essentially just an upgraded version of, uh... Of what's it call it?
Yeah, he's an, he's an upgraded version of the first boss. That's fine. Oh, shit! Why do you think I bought those, uh... Damn it. Junkin. Fucking, like, do damage, bro. You're supposed to be my main damage dealer, you motherfucker. Okay. That was a terrible fight. I also had no idea what to expect. You, you did barely adequate, Junkin. I like this thing. It's kinda neat, right? And then... Yeah, like the crystal regrows. It's kinda neat. Oh, man. That was fun. Ah. Okay, so now we're good. We should be fine, actually. But yeah, whiny main characters, man, they, they ain't my thing. I like main characters that are powerful or just don't care. That's why I like One Punch Man so much, because, I don't know, he's, he's One Punch Man, dude. He doesn't really worry or care about much. Does this tentacle have an effective range? I don't want to believe it does. I think it actually, yeah, okay, it does. One more junkie, and then you'll have be a flying junkie. I was like, oh god, did I just lag the game out? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's fine. Um, other ones? I don't know. But the thing is, too, at the same time, I really don't like the main hero of Kanasuba. Because, like, the whole time, he just doesn't care. Which is fine, because he's kind of in a situation he didn't want to be in, but... And he, his team also isn't that great, but he's just like, dude, at least pretend to care a little bit. Like... If, if it's one thing if he's ultra strong, you know, like Saitama or something, and it's another thing if he's just a kid who just doesn't want to do shit, then that's like... Eh, I don't know. Ah, uh, oh man. Why, I guess this is why I just don't watch manga, or don't read anime. Yeah, I don't really watch manga or read anime very often. Yeah. I just don't like doing all that. Oh god, let's go. Anything cool in here? Use the gamepad, I don't care about that. I don't give no fuck. I don't give a fuck what you say about me. Because I'm a motherfucking UIDSCA. Motherfucking Winsley. Yeah. Yeah, kinda neat. And we'll go see what we can do here. Yeah. Mainly because we still need our last piece of junk. Preferably sooner rather than later. Okay, so the tentacle doesn't do as much damage as the uh the the monster spray or whatever the hell it's called. What what is that called? I don't even know, because I combined it with the abyssal tentacle that shows that name. I don't know. Either way, it reminds me somewhat of the game Prototype, which was a pretty neat game. Very fun, like, open world. Almost like sandbox type thing. Very fun. You know what was also fun? It also reminded me a little bit of Prototype in a different way. Um, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. That is probably one of my, probably my favorite 360 game. Flight? There you go. Now we, we have the ultimate junk, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, that was a really fun game. I played that through, like, seven or eight times. It was so good. The fact that you got to choose between, like, Mary Jane and, uh, Black Cat. It was, it was a lot of fun. Is the sponge a gun? Oh. Let me guess. It makes it so it, I instantly absorb everything. Removes all goop in a small radius continuously. Okay, yeah. Okay, so pretty much if I spray, like, you know, that. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Also, uh, I unlocked that other bandana that I wanted because it allows your... It turns your jumps into teleports, which is pretty cool, actually. 
No, okay, I don't remember what it was called. The King, uh, King, Master of, what? No, I type in King and I get Master of Unlocking. What? It, I think that was, I think I, it was right behind me, so y'all didn't see that, but. Can you not? Okay, there we go. Oh, I was like, what in the hell am I targeting? Okay. This is pretty neat, right? Now imagine if we had like seven or eight junks. And they were all junk. Well, we actually did that run a long time ago. That was like one of the first custom runs we did. It was just a massive amount of fucking junk. Which is cool. I kind of feel bad because like a lot of those runs got really popular and I was ultra shit at the game. Which right now, like I'm kind of shit at the game, but I can at least consistently beat the first floor, you know? Back then I couldn't even do that. Hey, more HP, sweet. Now I can actually use my keys for shit. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel bad for anyone who subbed back then. Because like... Well, I mean, people enjoyed it either way, but... How would y'all... Hey, the H bell, fuck yourself. How would y'all feel if I did, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would y'all feel if I did another one of those, uh, like, rainbow chest per floor runs? Now that I can do a little bit better, would y'all be interested in that? Because if so, I am more than down to do that. I think I did just take a hit, didn't I? Thank you, Junkin. Yeah, I took a hit, that's fine. But yeah, I think I may redo that one. The little Uzi? No, I'm good. Yo, okay, so, did y'all see the pictures, the new pictures of the live-action Teen Titans thing they were doing? Because, uh, Starfire don't look good. Raven don't look good. Beast Boy don't look good. There wasn't a picture of Robin, but oh my god, those those look so bad. It's kind of funny because, you know, with live action series of comics, why don't they just employ cosplayers? Cosplayers, nine times out of ten, do a much better job or just as good of a job as professional studios. Why don't you just employ cosplayers? Not only would they be super hyped to do it, it would give people it would give people a chance to show off their talents in making the costumes as well as their acting experience. It would give rise to a whole bunch of new people. Is that the moon scraper? I don't remember, is this gun any good? Not really, okay. Tentacle's a little bit better. What if I, oh, what if I added the tentacle onto that? Or the moon, the scraper onto this thing? Wouldn't that be dope? Because then I'd have two lasers going, right? But no, why don't, why don't fucking companies just employ cosplayers? Boom, there you go. They already most likely have the outfit that you're wanting them to have. They, nine times out of 10, Okay, like eight times, like some portion out of ten, they read the comics so they know how the character actually is supposed to be. Like, because the way the new Titans are looking like, it's it seems like they're, I don't know, they're trying to make it so that it's like a new age thing or something, but they look like such shit. They look like the, the characters in it just look horrible. Which, you know, very first look, yeah, blah, 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 you know, don't judge a book by its cover. No, I'm judging a book by its cover, because I want a good fucking live-action Teen Titans series. And so far, at this point, okay, to to give you any understanding in case y'all don't know, don't, you know, haven't seen it, I'd prefer, based on just the looks, I'd prefer Teen Titans Go, because at least they have the looks right. Yeah, that's how bad it is. That's how fucking bad it is, man. Yeah, why not? I'll map you. Sure. Just, like, employ fucking cosplayers. They can make it. They can 9 times out of 10 actually play the part. Shit, even bad cosplayers did much, much better than the, uh, the pictures that we got <clears throat> in social media. Ugh. 
I don't know. Why is it so hard for companies? You know, I don't understand that. You know, DC, Marvel, whatever, you know, comic book makers and all that. They make a character. They make a comic. And then they have such a hard time finding someone to fill that role. Or they just don't want to make the role of what they initially have. Oh, the drill. I don't really care about the drill. Don't want that either. There we go. I don't, I don't understand it. I just don't understand why it's so hard to make something true to the comics. I, I'm not talking about like the cheesy 90s Batmans where it was like, bang, pow, and he flew through the air and shit like that. No, like the Dark Knight was great. And I mean, realistically, the Ben Affleck Batman was still good, regardless of the people, what the people were saying. Like the Ben Affleck Batman actually wasn't bad. He did pretty damn good and true to it. Yeah, metronome, cool. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't the greatest thing, and I really don't give a shit about the controversy surrounding him. You're, the controversies that surround you don't make you a good or bad actor. In the end of the day, just because of all the things that came to light with Bill Cosby, it doesn't mean all the shit that he's said and all the, all of the, you know, uh, advice and experience that he's given to kids and young adults growing up through the years doesn't invalidate any of that. Well, it makes, you know, it makes him a shitty person, but it doesn't invalidate the stuff that he's done. Just because you do one thing doesn't mean it invalidates all the rest of your life. And I know, I know people just... RPG leveled up? Huh. I know a lot of people don't really want to hear that, but that's the truth, man. Actually, let's use the RPG. Yeah, okay, no. Yeah, no, okay. Let's let's go back to our normal. Okay, should have done that from the get-go. I wouldn't have taken like two hits if I wasn't using only the RPG. <clears throat> But yeah, just because... Is that, isn't that the bundle of wands? That's an interesting gun. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be good, but whatever. Um, yeah, just because you do one thing shitty in your life doesn't mean it invalidates the rest of your life. Does it mean you're a shitty person? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to argue that. But it doesn't mean... If... If you convinced someone to not, you know, to not commit suicide, and then later on you found out that, I don't know, that you fucking, like, stabbed an old lady or something. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure the person who you convinced to save their life, I'm pretty sure they don't care. At least if it was me, I wouldn't care at the end of the day. Like, okay, yeah, so you killed an old fucking, or so you stabbed an old lady. I mean, you still helped me with my life at the end of the day. Am I going to feel, am I going to, you know, emphasize with you? Absolutely not. I mean, you're still a shitty person. But, but, you still helped me. Same thing with Bill Cosby. He gave a lot of life advice. It was actually something that Dave Chappelle said in one of his recent uh, stand-ups, which I think I've actually talked about once or twice before. You know... You gotta remember, for all the charges that were brought against him, it's hard to believe, because he was a very, very prominent member, especially in the black community, and, you know, yes, the things that he did were shitty, but at the end of the day, I mean, he still was, and I'm sure to a lot of people, still is an icon. And it's really hard to just invalidate everything someone did in their life. You know? I don't know. Maybe I'm a piece of shit. But I still don't feel like you should invalidate someone's entire experiences because of certain things they did. Like, things they did before in their life, you shouldn't invalidate just because of things they did later on in their life. You know? 
I mean, there's ob there's some obvious ex exceptions, of course. I mean, like if Hitler saved a puppy when he was 12, yeah, that's great. It doesn't in doesn't mean that all the shit that he's currently doing, or you know, that he did do afterwards, doesn't excuse any of it. But yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe I just shouldn't argue for rapists on the internet. Probably not a good idea. Then again, you know, I don't have like 8 million subscribers who are posting this shit to Tumblr every day, so it's not like I need to worry too much. And either way, even if I did, you know what I could do? I could ignore people. Shit on the internet doesn't mean anything to uh, people in real life. If... If I said something crazy like that, like, you know, I, I supported the stuff that insert X, you know, X bad person did, people on the internet may be really upset. If you go ask someone on the streets, they could be like, yo, did you hear what Woodsy said? They're gonna be like, what the fuck's a Woodsy? And no, I don't care. Or, you know, you explain it to them, they're like, oh, well that sounds shitty. Then they go on with their life. Crazy, right? People have a life outside the internet. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This run has gone on fucking ever. Like, forever. Just ridiculous! Oh, okay. Ugh, do I really have to get this key? Yeah, I do, because I want it. Okay, there we go. Oh, cool, you can stand on the treads and not worry about it. Boom! 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 As long as I don't switch the weapon or get hit, I'm going to have a really big bonus racked up on me. Yeah, like a really fucking big bonus, oh my god. Or prematurely reload, which I can't even do that with the tentacle, so... That's why I'm instantly killing everyone. Oh, literally as soon as I say that, I'm, I didn't do it. <clears throat> But yeah, if I didn't give myself the Ancient Heroes bandana, uh... Hey, it's the... Oh, sweet! Now I can teleport! I'm so excited! Bloody scarf, blink away. Boop! Awesome. O awesome to the max. Boop! Boop! <laughs> I am happy for that. Did we get both chests? Yes, we did. So awesome. I like it that it's so strong the tentacle actually pushes me away. It's kind of funny. Oh. Why not? Uh, at this point in time, I really don't care about unlocking the pilots thing. I'll do that in another point in time. I'm just kind of, you know, enjoying my thing here. I fucking dog. It's much easier to dodge with this thing because you actually have you have much better eye frames at the time. Uh, I think I glitched something. Definitely think I glitched something because I just had two for a second. Oh god, I didn't want to jump into him. Oh god. There we go. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I, I did not jump up. Nah, we're getting him killed. I'm not doing that phase a second time. There we go. What the hell? God, that sounds like it fucking hurts, man. Your heart literally exploding outside of your chest. Who's the real monster in this game? Because I'm pretty sure it's fucking us. Ugh. I don't even know why I got that. Beep. I unlocked the Ancient Heroes bandana? I didn't have that unlocked before? Hell no, fuck! 
Oh, right, I don't have my items anymore. I mean, I understand why that would make the past really, really easy, but at the same time, I also, like, want my stuff, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna add the bloody scarf on every run from now on. I fucking love it. Anyways, it's almost that time. Are you ready for it? This has been a long video, but either way. Thanks for watching. Suggest some runs down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see some more custom ranking. And as always... See you in the next video. Bye-bye.